Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video, and today I've got an app to show you that addresses a problem I've never seen solved. Be sure to stick around until the end of the video for a chance to get a copy absolutely free. So this is Textify, and it's a fairly simple app that serves a fairly simple purpose. Basically, it'll transcribe any voice messages you get into a text format with just a couple of quick steps. Now, it works with four different messaging platforms, and you can get simple, easy-to-follow instructions on the main screen of the app, but I'll walk you through it with iMessage so you have an idea of what to expect. So having a look at the main screen, you'll see where you can find those instructions. The process is mostly the same across all the platforms, with the exception of iMessage. Basically, with iMessage, you'll have to save your message to voice memos and then import it through there. Whereas with all the other platforms, you'll be able to import your message directly within the app itself. Now what this means is any audio file you can get into the voice memos app, you can have Textify transcribe for whatever that's worth. Moving over to more, there's a few options here, including adjusting the language picker and turning it off entirely. That controls what languages you have to choose from when you import a file, and if you turn it off, it will pick the default language for your phone. Below that, you have some toggles for turning off and on what the app recognizes. And as you can see, what that lets you do is have the app scan through your transcriptions for things like links, addresses, calendar events, and even phone numbers. Below that, you can adjust the quality of the transcription, and of course, you would lower that if you want to save data. Now, unless you're really concerned with data usage, I would suggest turning that all the way up. In by testing, it's only the difference between about 67 kilobytes on high and 56 on low, so you'll save a fairly good percentage, but even so, it's a pretty small amount, all things considered. So at first, I didn't think I'd end up using this an awful lot, since I don't generally send or receive voice messages all that much. But the more I thought about it, the more I realized pretty much every time I've ever gotten a voice message, I would have preferred it to just be in a text format. Whether that's because I'm in a quiet place where I don't want to disturb the people around me, or if I'm in a loud place where I couldn't hear my phone anyway, I think this could really come in handy. And I think you'll appreciate having it next time someone sends you a message and you'd really like to hear what it says. Plus, maybe you and your friends or family use voice messages on a regular basis, in which this would basically be a must. I'd give it a 5 out of 5, it does exactly what it says it does, and it does it quite well. And thanks to the generosity of the developers, you have a chance to get your hands on a free copy. Simply drop a like on this video, subscribe if you haven't already, and leave a comment down below. I'll be picking 10 random comments and sending the codes your way. Good luck, thank you for watching, and I hope to see you back for next week's video.